Welcome to Ascent of Titan. This was the project I did for Nano Wadmo 2020. Uh, over the last couple of years, I did a lot of tech-based maps for various community projects that never made it to completion, so uh, my aim this Nano Wadmo was to finally make them playable, package them together with a story into an episode of their own. So let's get going, and I will explain the rest uh, as we explore through. All right, uh, the idea of this wad, you have been sent to Titan in cryogenic sleep or something. The pod wakes you up. It's all messed up like this with zombies roaming around. So now you've got to fight up to the place where the scientists were doing whatever they were doing. Teleportation experiments, mining into big caverns full of runes, uh, whatever it is. First secret here, bit of an obvious one if you turn around. Oh, now this, the, uh, a couple of people have commented on these torches and their colour scheme. Uh, this uh, map, uh, this C1M1, was originally done for Project Romero, which was a tribute to Romero's mapping styles after he voiced support for Doom's trans community, and there were, there were all sorts of assets made for it. Uh, there were uh, new coloured keys and uh, all kinds of decorations. Uh, so that project turned into something else eventually, and uh, I was left with this level. Uh, so I've removed the uh, trans theming from most of the levels, uh, but I wanted to keep these trans torches just in this level as a nod to where it came from. I, I felt I was appropriating the theme uh, if, if I used any more because I wasn't trans myself, but I wanted to leave that little tribute in. Uh, so the style I was going for in Project Romero uh, that transferred to here was episode one plus. Uh, keep things looking a lot like Romero's levels, but uh, use some dynamic lighting, ramps, 3D floors, like this uh, rail down here. Just things that would subtly enhance the maps that you couldn't do in Vanilla Doom. Transparent windows as well, using the uh, a grey version of the SLAD texture uh, to, to have this sort of tempered, uh, bumpy glass look. I don't know why I decided to do that at first. And this map, of course, uh, is meant to echo E1M1 in a few ways. You, you had the optional little route up here that gave you the green armor before carrying on. There'll be a bit of that throughout the map. Another secret here where the wall's misaligned. I won't show you all the secrets, but uh, maybe just on this level. Uh, textures for this map set uh, came from everywhere, really. Um, there were Jimmy Tex, uh, Kaito, a lot that I don't even know where they're from, but somehow ended up in these community projects and I kind of borrowed. Um, of course, I did use the mighty Otex, which I go on about uh, oh so often, uh, but those don't really start appearing until later on in the map set where the bases get a bit darker. All right, here's our steps up to the exit. Oh no, we're not going to the exits. This was. I, I'm really glad actually that people who have played this map, I've seen videos of it, uh, like that moment as much as I did. That's the moment uh, where I think that it gets the message across that while this is Doom 1 styled, it's going to have some surprises in it as well that uh, you wouldn't have expected from Vanilla Doom. I have actually changed a few uh, textures and re uh, moved things around since the uh, release version of this. Uh, so I'm going to update this uh, once I finish this playthrough. I just love tech bases and all the uh, panels and recessed lights and in and outy bits. I meant to keep it at this kind of de level of detail throughout the uh, map set, so from those shutters. Um, I put these in specifically so that the level would work better for Deathmatch, although I can't imagine anyone wanting to actually play Deathmatch on it. Again, that was inspired from uh, from uh, E1M1, which had the, the change in it uh, to open the map up a bit more. The shutter also uh, gives you a bit of a better view onto that switch, which you can get from the lower level, but it's not quite as obvious. And this, I think this is the most significant secret area in the game, now that I come to think of it. Uh, most of the secrets later on I devolved into just making closets with items in them, uh, which I kind of regret. I, th I think I should have made, uh, I think I should have done more with the secret areas. 
Anyway, the secret within the secret here, you see that chain gun? That would let us get the chain gun uh, much earlier than we're meant to. I'm not going to take it. Um, I'm just going to escape the secret level so that we can uh, so that we can go on as we normally would. But yeah, we've just about finished this map now. Oh, did I uh, did I like to make that switch? No, I didn't. Okay, I've got to go all the way around. Because you've once you've gone up this way. Yeah, just uh, when that monster closet opens. Then if I drop down here again, you have a switch that lets you uh, go all the way back up again. Did I do all the secrets? No, four out of five. I, there's one I always forget, and that's that uh, if you look carefully, then you can see that this door has opened uh, since you came into this room. It happens, I think, when you cross that line. So that means if we go round the horseshoe again... Any minute now. And just at this wall, this is now opened, we can get outside. There's a couple of bits and bobs of ammunition. And uh, I don't I don't like doing outdoor terrain because uh, it, it's very difficult to sort of navigate, but I did put some little ramps in here. Oh, that doesn't look very good, the paper-thin wall there. I'll have to fix that. Oh, well. Um, these grass tufts, by the way, I, I made up for uh, another project that was that is featured in this map set called L50. And uh, I, I, I like them so much that I've pretty much used them on every map uh, that I've ever done so far. And again, E1M1 blue armor uh, in the nukage. And this lets us get back onto here. And now we're at the exit, and that is map one done. Now, I really wanted to have an intermission screen uh, for this uh, map set, because the intermission screens tie everything together in Doom 1 in a way that I really missed in Doom 2. Uh, so this is by an artist called Kineza. Uh, I think that's how you say it, so that's her Fiverr account. Uh, she did the digital painting of this background and some techno-looking buildings, and uh, I just pulled them around, shrank them down, uh, added some animations on top. And I am really happy with how close it looks to Doom's original map screens. I, I, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. All right, we've got past the, uh, what's it called? Possessed Starport? I can't even remember. Decayed Starport. And this is going to be the Hydroelectric Dam. Hydroelec Hydroeclectic Dam, apparently. A uh, bit of, a bit more decay on the walls here. Looks a bit more water damaged. Oh, this is another thing I meant to fix. That uh, You've got this uh, horizon leading off to nowhere and it looks like you can just walk out. I need to put some glass over that. It's against health and safety. All right, Duke Nukem switches for this map. I tried to make every um, building in the, uh, in the complex have different features. And most of that, I think, was done using uh, different switch textures. <laughs> Just to remind you that you're in a different place, it, it was all built separately. Alright, oh, I meant to change this door as well because that doesn't stand out enough. Oh, what am I doing in this car? Oh, no, 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 okay. So the story behind uh, this ward, oh, I need to get in that secret, I'll show you that, I'll show you that in a bit. Uh, the story behind this ward is that um, it was called Lost Bases at first, and it didn't have a story attached, but then uh, one just grew around it. And I decided to set it on Titan because that's another uh, vaguely life-supporting moon in the solar system. Let's uh, pull that down, go over here, lift that up. Have I delayed too long? Oh, I did, just by seconds. I'll explain it uh, as I reset this. Um, 
So yeah, I decided on Titan as a setting because maybe they're mining precious materials. I don't know what's on Titan really. I think it's mostly uh, crystallized water. Oh, was that? No, 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 no. Sorry, I'm, I'm messing up my own secret now as I as I try to uh, as I try to explain the storyline. Oh, so yes, Titan. And uh, I was absolutely delighted to uh, notice by accident when I was looking on Wikipedia that uh, Titan has a mountain called Doom Mons, and uh, that was just that was just perfect. I do want to do other episodes in this series as well. Uh, I'd quite like to maybe mirror uh, the Doom One episodes and do a sort of tech hell theme and then another uh, totally hellish theme. But we'll see. I originally had the doors in this map uh, be uh, split doors, they opened at the centre, uh, but I eventually decided it just looked too awkward, especially if monsters got halfway into them and they got uh, sort of stuck and uh, jerking up and down on them. Crates from uh, actually a level that I've never publicly released. No, 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 that's wrong. Because um, they were in uh, Vulcan Part 2, which I released a demo of. Uh, but I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, really gone back to that yet and finished it off. Maybe I will eventually. I worked out the entire storyline for it, but I just, I just haven't made it yet. All right, this area here was uh, a dock meant to give you a bit of a chance to recharge your ammunition and be eaten by pinkies. A lot of people said that this world was really easy, and uh, to be honest, I am on 173% health, 163 armor, and I don't think I'll go down much during it, but... Yeah, I think... I think my wads are too easy because I make ultra violence how I want to play them and then I make two easier difficulty levels and what I should really do is make hurt me plenty the one that I play on and then up the challenge for people who are a bit better at doom than I am chain gunner in the face all right so that's the little uh, pillbox that the shotgunners were in I'll show you another little secret here uh, that's a slightly different colour, or so I'm led to believe, by my paint package. Paint package. Because we all live in the 1980s. One of the few people in the world who seem to use paint.net. Everyone else is on GIM. But I have almost preferred paint.net. All right, so, so this uh, secret, it gives us the chain gun, or more ammunition for the chain gun, but it also gives us this vantage point as well, which uh, clears out some monsters that we'd otherwise have to deal with later. Two ways to the secret. You can run across here, which I hadn't actually noticed. Oh, that isn't a secret. I thought I'd made it a secret. Never mind. Uh, or there's a way you can teleport up to that later on. Little row of uh, health bottles leading you to this lift. I originally had uh, all of this uh, tiled as hexagons, like uh, the ones over here, but I decided it just looked far too busy and awkward. People have got a bit lost here as well, because uh, of those bars uh, covering the opening. And uh, I meant to signal to them that there are bars down here as well, and therefore pulling that switch has opened all the bars, but I don't, I don't think uh, people get that message. They'd probably get it if this area were a bit uh, larger and the bars closed behind you and you then had to pull the switch to reopen them again. I love dynamic lights, have I uh, mentioned that? Partly because uh, I can't get sector lighting to look very good. <laughs> Two 
two separate videos um, said, oh, that looks a bit dodgy, and oh, I love that. Uh, so, which is proof that uh, there's nothing objectively good in Doom. Uh, but this was meant to be sort of little monitoring stations for the water trickling through the dam. I don't know. Um, if water's trickling through a dam, you've probably got problems. Oh. This was a tribute to the bit that always scared the life out of me when I played Doom when I was younger. Uh, there's a bit in E1M4, I think, where you get a blue key and then a spectre comes in behind you. So you were meant to be distracted by this uh, Hell Knight. Alright. Um, nobody gets this secret because I made it far too subtle, but you see wall, 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 wall. Slightly wider bit of wall that isn't as dirty as that one. Of course, there's a switch behind it and that uh, gives you some extra shells that uh, you'll have virtually no use for because there's too much ammunition in the rest of the map anyway. All right. So, uh, again, this is something I made a bit easier than I intended, but if you just walk along here, you can get the yellow key. Um, that was meant to be the secret way of getting it. I should have spaced these further apart uh, so that you had to strafe run over them. Uh, the intended uh, way to get it is to have to pull this switch and then it lowers it down for you. And having that yellow key lets you out of this room and it also lets you go across the dam. Oh, here's some teleporters. This is a level that was made uh, specifically for the WOD. This was not a rework of an earlier level. Uh, this is one of, I think, only two levels that were started from scratch this project. And uh, this was the first area that I made, this outdoor area with the big curve and the wall, and then the uh, the rest of the level evolved around that. It has the unfortunate uh, accolade of being a level that I think looks a lot better from a distance than it does close up. see because I'm, I'm going to uh, ID clip and I'm going to just fly out to show you the map because I, I, I really I really like the look of the curve and how the levels are ranged around it all right we are back to our physical non ethereal form I can't believe I've missed that many times all right. Well, I forgot that I put him there to flank you. Another little secret down here. Fall in there and you get a teleporter. And that gives you the secrets uh, and the chainsaw on the way over to the ammunition if you want it. I didn't notice that uh, I hadn't changed the ceiling of this. This was a first attempt by me to make a teleport to texture, and I decided it looked rubbish compared to the Otex one, so I replaced it. But uh, apparently that's still there. It's amazing how many mistakes suddenly become very obvious when you're making a video showing something off. Of course, you can retreat across here and it makes things a bit easier. All right, and here we go. There's the exit. And there we go. Marine Laboratory is going to be what we're going to next time. <laughs>